All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're now joined by the Murray State Racers. Again, winners in a fantastic game tonight in overtime over the University of San Francisco. We're joined by head coach Matt McMahon and student athletes KJ Williams, Trey Hannibal, as well as Tevin Brown. Uh, we'll start with questions for the student athletes. Please raise your hand. We've we'll got a microphone to you uh, in terms of, uh, and give us your name and affiliation before asking your question. However, after he gets a nice refreshing uh, drink of water, opening statement from Coach McMahon. Uh, what a game. Uh, that's what the NCAA tournament's all about. That's why it's the greatest event in the world. Uh, I'm really proud of our guys. That, that really, that game defined our team. That's who we are. Uh, these guys just find different ways to win. Uh, their toughness, their will to win is incredibly special. Uh, so I'm, I'm proud of them for their fight. We, we battled some foul trouble, um, battled some cramps. Different guys stepped up. Uh, Skipper Brown, you know, when, when we needed him most, delivers a double-double tonight. Uh, really happy for him. And then have to give a lot of credit to San Francisco. A uh, really good basketball team. Uh, there's a reason they're top 25 and all the metrics that matter. And, uh, you know, hats off to Bouye uh, for one of the great performances in this tournament. With that, questions for the student athletes. Go right down here in front. Again, name and affiliation, please. Adam Wells with WPSD uh, for each of the players. As Coach said, you guys have been in a lot of games like this where your backs are kind of against the wall. How much have you? relied on that previous experience, especially tonight? I mean, it really helps us a lot because being in those situations builds our character and we know how to be calm and collected in those type of situations. So we just continue to play our game. Uh, you know, like I will always say, you know, this team's chemistry, you know, helps a lot with everything that's going on. And, you know, it's a 40 minute game. You know, that's all Coach Mack preached is go out there and play hard for 40 minutes. Whoever go out there with relentless effort and, a lot of fights is gonna come out on top. So. Um, just to recap what they said, um, it just shows like the character as our team. Uh, it just showed the fight that we have as a group to, like Tevin said, stay calm and collected and just go out and just play basketball. All right, next question down here. I believe you have one. Did you have one? My apologies if you did. Next question for the student athletes, please. Go over here. Sorry about that. Right here. Ethan Castle, San Francisco Examiner. Um, for any of the Murray State players, you guys obviously scouted Jamari Bouye very thoroughly, but what did you see out of him up close? Because I mean, Coach already said that was a tremendous performance, but what was it that stood out? One word, pro. <laughs> <laughs> that man can do everything. He has extreme pace to his game, and he's just all around a very hard person to guard. Mark? Mark Canizaro from the New York Post. This is for all of you guys. Uh, I'm obviously you're getting ready for your game um, here tonight, but I'm wondering if you know anything about St. Peter's. Um, if you, you know, anything about them, period, I guess. We just focusing on getting through tonight. Yeah. All we know is they're a tough team. And, you know, our mindset, you know, get refueled and refocus back tonight. And, you know, tomorrow we'll focus on St. Peter's and prepare the right way. Let's go to the back. John Hale with the Courier Journal. For any of the players, obviously there was so much talk going into this about possibly Murray versus Kentucky in the second round. What was your reaction when you saw that score just before you were about ready to play? We were just prepared for our game. We don't really pay attention to everything that's not going on involving what we have to do the night of the game. Yeah, same. Yeah. Let's go back to the front. Adam Wells from WPSD. Uh, <laughs> Coach McMahon talked about uh, the play of Skipper Brown tonight. Can you guys kind of elaborate on what you saw from him when you know, he probably put in the best performance of the season? Uh, Skip came a long way um, with his performance tonight. It shows that he, uh, he's been working uh, on and off the court. He just showed, showed that great character tonight. He just came out and just played tremendously. Yeah, I feel like this week of practice, it really translated to the game tonight. And his focus was actually there mentally and physically. So. You know, hopefully we can continue to keep him on the same page and he can stay consistent. It was incredible. So. Coach Mack always say, be ready when your number's called. And I feel like tonight he was definitely ready every time he was on the court for him to be able to produce the way he did tonight. Down front. Uh, Jacob Moani, Murray State News. Um, Devin, slow start in the first half. We're not used to that really out of you. Um, what was it about the second half that really got you going, though? 
I mean, I just stay to the game. I don't really try to rush anything or do anything. I let the game come to me, and my players did, my teammates did a good job of getting me open and finding me to get me the ball. Any other questions for the student athletes? Guys, congratulations and best of luck on Saturday. We'll Thank dismiss you. these guys. Let's go back to the locker room and celebrate. Now it's time for questions for Coach McMahon. Let's go to the back corner. Your name and affiliation, please. I'll get you next. Go ahead. Jeff Bidwell, WPSD. Matt, uh, we've seen these comebacks from you all year, and it kind of the script got flipped on you there for 69-60 uh, to overtime. What did you see from your guys when they came over to play for those, those final five minutes? How much regrouping did you have to do in that moment? Well, Jeff, I know, you, I know you've watched a lot of games, too, and how often do you see that? Uh, the game ended on a NATO run. Uh, we didn't make some plays. They had all the momentum. And you see the team that gave up the lead just fold up shop in overtime and call it a season. Uh, we trailed in overtime a couple times. And I, I thought our offensive execution was really good there in the overtime period. I believe we were seven of nine from the floor. Uh, we were able to get the ball to KJ with some angles in the post where he was able to finish. Uh, and then Skipper Brown's uh, plays and activity around the basket were huge for us. Uh, so I, you know, really just more of the same. And we've been in that situation. Uh, we've come back five times this year from down double figures. We've lost the lead. <laughs> just the goal at the end of the day is to win. And uh, these guys have an incredible will to win. Let's go over here to the left. Kellen King, the Insider Institute. Coach, that overtime started with something like 16 straight points. How are you guys able to, to get that, that one stop to, to push you guys over the hump? Well, Bouye's performance was unbelievable. I, I believe when we had it at five, we forced him into a really tough three that he had been making throughout the game. Uh, but that one came up short, and we were able to secure the rebound uh, and that, then make our free throws to uh, seal the game there. But uh, you know, just can't say enough about our players and um, the toughness that they showed. I thought Tevin in the second half and overtime, terrific. Uh, does a little bit of everything, 17 points, eight rebounds. Juice Hill, I owe him, I owe him an apology. <laughs> we, he only rested 18 seconds tonight uh, because of the foul trouble. Had nine assists, 15 points, five rebounds. Um, but, you know, again, I have to give a lot of credit to San Francisco. No, no one could get a stop. I think it was just survival of the fittest there in the final five minutes. Got a couple of questions from Zoom. Let's go to Edward Marlowe. Edward, please uh, mute yourself and ask your question for Coach McMahon. He'll never figure it out. <laughs> it says he's talking. Ed's one of my favorites. We'll put Ed back on mute. We'll, we'll give Ed a moment. Let's try John Wright on Zoom. Oh, no. <laughs> Apparently, John's technically savvy as well, huh? John, go ahead with your question for Coach. Can y'all hear me down there? We got you. Go ahead, John. Very good. Matt, many times I've seen teams give up a leap late in the second half. And then they go to overtime. They just cannot, you know, hold on, hold it together. How did y'all hold it together tonight? It's almost as if you were listening to my opening statement there. Uh, thank you, John. I agree with you. you. You see the momentum shift in that moment. And San Francisco's got a really good team. Uh, so we knew it would be a battle. But, again, I just keep coming back uh, to the mental toughness, the togetherness of our team. Uh, and just that unbelievable passion and desire to find ways to win. I mean, I say it all the time. Uh, nobody in America has won more games than Murray State. Everybody in America has lost more games than Murray State. And that's a credit to our players. Should I give Edward one more try? Let's give it a best Mr. shot. Mr. Marlowe, are you with us? I I'm with you. Can you guys hear me? We well, got you loud and clear now, sir. You're on with Coach. Go ahead. That's fabulous. Coach, how much did your game plan with uh, Carter Collins go down? And do you expect to see him on Saturday moving forward? Well, it changed our perimeter depth, Ed. Uh, I'm really proud of Deontay. He had not played a lot of minutes of late. That's a guy who started games for us a year ago. He's a really good player. And uh, we always talk about just staying ready when your opportunity comes. I thought he gave us some good minutes. Uh, I thought. You know, Juice Hill had to be a warrior and just battle through the fatigue and, and play the entire game. 
because uh, that, that was tough on us in the first half with Carter out injured, Tevin in foul trouble, Daquan in foul trouble, Trey in foul trouble. Uh, and so, once again, just had to find another way to win a game. We've got time for one or two more for Coach. We have one in the front corner here. Go ahead. Yeah, Harry Schrader, Valley Hoops Insider. Matt, uh, Trey was unbelievably big for you guys in the first half. You were just talking about all the foul trouble and all those guys sitting out. He had to be really your, go your go-to guy. Harry, uh, he's done that for us a lot this year. You know, we talk about him all the time. He's a, a middle linebacker out there playing guard for us. He's really been a Swiss Army knife type player. He's played the one through four for us all season long. And I thought his ability to get to the basket and finish plays was just huge for us tonight. He was really good on the glass. And I believe uh, at first glance, I think he drew seven fouls uh, just with his ability to attack the basket. And uh, he's a warrior and a really step forward uh, when we needed him most tonight. Tevin just being patient and letting the game come to him in the second half and hit just a bunch of big threes. Yeah, he did. That's, that was rare in the first half for him. You know, we're one of the, I think, top 40 in the country and fewest fouls. Uh, so we haven't been in a lot of foul trouble like that this year. Uh, and so usually we play Tevin about the whole game. And uh, tonight he got to rest some in the first half. So hopefully that will benefit him on Saturday. Uh, but. I thought getting him out in transition to get a couple threes, we were able to draw a couple things up to get him some open looks. And then just that big time play to get downhill uh, there late in the game to seal it up. Given the late hour, we'll just do one more right here in front. Uh, Jacob Milani, Murray State News. Coach, I know it's 1 a.m. local time. Um, looking forward, St. Peter's obviously takes a lot to be a number two seed. What are your initial thoughts going up against them Saturday? Yeah, very familiar with them, very well coached, incredibly tough. One of the best defensive teams in all of college basketball. Uh, not just my opinion, the numbers show that. Um, I didn't get to see the game tonight, but I'm assuming they must have had a heck of a performance. Uh, so we know it'll be a great challenge on Saturday, uh, but certainly looking forward to it. As I told our players after the game in the locker room, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, uh, the opportunity to win a game and go to the Sweet 16, I'm sure our players will rec recover quickly and be locked in and ready to go tomorrow as we start our preparation. Coach, congratulations and best of luck on Saturday. All right, thanks so much. We'll be go Racers. We'll be joined by Todd Golden and the student athletes representing uh, San Francisco coming uh, up in just a couple of minutes.